So if f is an even function, then we don't need to uh, consider the contour integral of log to the one higher power, as we'll now see. And we can also use the semicircular contour, which saves us evaluating some residues. This again is, of course, assuming that there's no holes on the real axis. So the contour we want this time, got a branch cluster on the real, positive real axis. Um, looks like this. Um, here we'll say that z is equal to r times e to the i pi and see what happens. So we're going to consider the limit as r goes to infinity and epsilon goes to zero of the contour integral of just f of z well, to the n z and see what we get. So along here we'll just get i n and again we'll have to examine what happens in, along here and along here in detail let's say question mark these two things go to zero but again we have to check carefully that really happens but the the uh, thing we're interested in is what happens along here so we have r goes from infinity to zero um, now uh, dz is equal to dr times eci pi, so that's minus dr. So we end up with a minus sign here from the minus dr. So we end up with, there's no branch cut, so we can just write f of r instead of f of z. But when it comes to, uh, sorry, f of minus r, but f of minus r is of course equal to f of r. So we can change that to f of r and then we're multiplying that by log of r plus i pi raised to the power n. So when I, what do I get? Well, um, this time I've got i n plus using the the minus to swap the limits, um, f of r times log of r plus i pi to the n. So you see that the first term will just be um, i n from this. So I'll, get, I'll actually get 2 times i n plus the next term would be um, i pi times uh, using binomial theorem times n times i n minus 1 and uh, so on down to i pi to the n and you've got i 0. So it means that and then this of course would be the sum of the residues 2 pi i times the sum of the residues for holes above the real axis um, and I get that in terms in, uh, and that's equal to all of that. So in principle I'd need to work out these other integrals first before I can find i n but again for I can use the trick of just looking at the real parts to save some work. <laughs>